everyone, this is Gail from Gail Julie Makes, I hope you're all well. Um, just wanted to pop into the studio to try a quick technique I've had an idea about. So I've got my, um, I've got two prints here, um, they are on Upo paper. These were actually done the same time as I did my last video when I was doing um, this stencil straight onto canvas. I actually decided to go in and try it on Upo paper now. The results I wasn't entirely happy with, so I kind of basically wiped this one clear as much as I could, and I still had these sort of background colours, and then I went back in with a stencil. Um, the stencil was still quite wet which with alcohol inks, which is why you've got this sort of like blurry, sort of streaky effect. But I quite like that, to be honest, so I let it dry. And then I had the idea of putting crackle paste over the top, so I've used um, Ranger Texture Paste, crackle, opaque crackle, um, and I've kind of come out with this really sort of nice, it doesn't all um, adhere to the UPO perfectly, so I've, I've, got, I've got chipped off bits, and as you can see now, look, if I keep touching it, I get bits that chip off, but I quite like the sort of um, fragile nature of it, and also I like those bits that have remained. So what I wanted to try and do now is just add um, some more alcohol inks over the top of that just to see what happens. I've got another one here that I can experiment with as well. I've only got a tiny bit of blending solution left, but I thought this might be better to use than the... Actually, I can't get the lid off, so I'm just going to use a bit of isopropyl. I don't know how it's going to react with the, um, the crackle, to be honest, but we'll pop some over the top. So this is just isopropyl. So this is um, surgical spirit, basically, in the UK. Okay, just to give it a bit of something to move around with. Um, let me just open my window. Very windy outside, so I apologise if it starts making a bit of a noise. And then I'm going to start adding some alcohol inks. Now I have got, and I haven't used this one for a long time, the Golden Luster by Lavinia Stamps. So that's that one. So I'm going to give this one a go. Might not be the best sort of colour choice, but well, I say colour choice, I mean more kind of like the consistency of it, really. But we'll give it a go, see what happens. Obviously, we can use different bits elsewhere. Just give us a bit of a gold streak. And if you just start to shift that around, don't know what's going on out there. Lots of sirens. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just plug in my cool air dryer. Uh, bear with me, guys. Just so I can get that to move around a little bit. quite liking that gold actually on there but I want to break it up a little bit more I'm liking it down here so let's use a bit of it sounds silly using white on top of white but I just want to try a little bit of the white just to sort of you know strip it back again so this is another Lavinia stamps one um, and just strip that back a little bit let's break it up a tiny bit okay Go for a bit more. Actually, over the face around that area. Again, I don't want it to go too much into that eye, so I'm just going to tilt it that way a little bit. Get that to go up to those cracks. There we go. Go for some of um, the patina colour, I think. Yeah, I'm liking. 
liking the way that's showing up on that uh, crackle paste. So obviously if we've got somewhere, if we've got some here, I haven't added alcohol ink, uh, sorry I was propyl to that, so we can just lay that down and obviously you can see it sort of, you know, So I think basically if you want that sort of stronger crackle look then you're best not really bothering with um, with the isopropyl. If I just lay a bit of this down, obviously that's over the top of that so I might just, it's that nice Valencia colour that I got recently and add a bit to that. Obviously, I've got my air dryer on the cool setting at the moment. So, yeah, looking pretty nice. Starting to build up. Reminds me of sort of like maybe a, a Victorian lady, possibly. Um, lots of, uh, or like Marianne, Marie Antoinette, maybe, actually, with all the sort of crazy hair colours. Um, then we'll go for, let's go for a bit of the moss colour. Just to sort of blend in down here, get a bit of that dark quality back. The eyes are purple again. Now, I kind of wish I'd actually left it at this point, um, or even earlier, to be honest, because I like the amount of white space that's left over in this one. But, you know, in hindsight, I, when I watch the video through, I can see that, but not when I'm actually creating. So it's just one of those things. But, um, you know, I'll keep going with it. And it, I, I like the finished result, but looking back at it here, it would, would have been nice to stop. So anyway, um, I'm going to carry on. Um, I'm going to whiz this through a little bit, guys, and put some music to this now because you can basically see what I'm doing. And then I also will start a new one from scratch. You'll see a little bit further on. So that will be the process of laying the stencil over the alcohol inks, um, getting that dry, and then adding the crackle paste and, you know, carrying on from there. So I hope you enjoy that. And I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, and that's the two side by side. I think I will probably go in and rework my first attempt, the one on the left, a little bit more with some white Posca pen detail. But other than that, I'm really pleased with them both. Um, if you've liked what you've seen and you'd like to subscribe, please click my profile picture top left there and then hit the bell and all notifications if you want to know whenever a new video comes out. Bottom left there is another video I think you'll be interested in, so hopefully you'll check that one out too. And just wanted to say thank you again to all my subscribers. Um, getting towards 650 subscribers now, which is amazing. So thanks, I appreciate each and every one of you and i hope you have a great crafting week guys and uh, take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye for now